Hey guys, and welcome back to Faith Works Designs. I'm Faith, and today we're going to be doing something for teenagers. I don't know if you, any of you guys have teenagers, but it's a lot harder to buy for them when you don't know exactly what they want, and neither do they. Um, a friend of mine messaged me, and she asked me if I could make something for her daughter. Um, she wanted a wash rag, and I'm like, you gotta make something a little more special. So I looked around the internet, and I found these. They work kind of like a glove. Um, for when you're washing and that way you can kind of hang them up um, and it's just a little bit nicer than a wash rag. So what I did was I got some black terry cloth. And I got a fusible interfacing. It's um, a foam. Uh, normally you have like regular interfacing and you can work with that but this one is a foam and it just gives it a little extra. If you had just done the fabric and the terry cloth it probably would have been really kind of flimsy. So I added, I added the foam just to make it a little stiffer and so that it would last a little bit longer. And then you really need a cute print. I found this print at Eden L Fabrics on Facebook. Um, the girl that in question here wanted a um, Stranger's Things kind of theme for her Christmas. So Eden L Fabrics on Facebook. I'll try and link them down below. But I got this um, fabric and I thought it was really cool. And since her teenager was kind of into that, we figured this is what we would do. And we'll see how she likes it for Christmas, hopefully. Hopefully she'll like it for Christmas. So let's get started. Okay, first things first to come up with the pattern is I grabbed a piece of paper. And I'm going to do my pattern on this piece of paper. The very first thing I wanted to do, though, is take my fabric that I'm working with. And as far as getting everybody in there and making sure I've got the logo and everything, I wanted that to be on the front. So it's about, we'll do the six and a half. Okay, so I went back and I tweaked my pattern a little bit more. The very first piece you're going to cut out is going to be nine inches tall by six and a half inches wide. Um, the next piece is going to be six inches tall by six and a half wide. And then basically what I did was I folded it in half, and then towards the bottom I just rounded it out. Now you can take a bowl to do this. You can just kind of freestyle it, draw it. Um, it's a great thing about paper is you can just do it over and over again until you get the results that you want. Now if you were to put this on your fabric, you wouldn't be able to see whether the placement was correct or not or the way that you wanted it. So I go to the dollar store and they have these little chopping mats and they're clear. Well, they are when they're out of the bag. And I use these to trace my templates because then if I use this template and I cut it out I can see where I'm placing my template on my fabric and make sure that it's placed right where I want it. So let me cut these out. Um, I actually take a sharpie and then just trace the template out, cut it out, and then I use this as my template that I'm going to use from now on. So let me do that. I'll trace it out and then we'll cut it out. I have got my template here. This is going to be the very front. This is the only thing that we're using cotton fabric. And I want to make sure that the Stranger Things and all the cast is right in the middle. Which is why it's really great that you can see through these things. Because then you can place it right where you want. And you can make sure that everybody's in there. Let's see. I hope you can see that in the camera. And that's going to be your front. So you're going to want two pieces of terry cloth out of this and a piece of your foam. Then you're going to want a piece of cotton, a piece of terry cloth, and a piece of foam out of this template, the smaller one. Okay, so the very first thing we're going to do is do our ties. And what I did was it is a one and a quarter inch strip by six and a half. And you could take this to the ironing board and iron it in half and then iron the insides in but it's getting to be Christmas time. So we're going to do it ourselves. <laughs> Basically, you're going to be making kind of like a bias tape or a, yeah, like a bias tape. It's a little tie that they can use when they want to hang their scrubby up. So I'm just going to do two of those. The 
next thing that you're going to do is you're going to grab your front piece, a piece of foam, and your front piece of terry cloth. And what I would do is put your terry cloth and your print together and then put it with the foam and make sure that top lines up really good. Now you can clip this or pin it. I'm just going to go to it. Okay, clip all of those apart and then what you're going to do is set the ties aside. And then you're going to take the pieces that you sewed together and you're going to flip that terry cloth around. And then what we're going to do is we're going to top stitch right across here so that the terry cloth stays in its lane and stays in the back. And again, you can clip this down or you can kind of manipulate it as you're sewing. Um, it's up to you, whatever you feel comfortable doing. Okay, now once you get these pieces done, what you're going to do is I'm going to back you guys up just a tad. I am going to lay out my terry cloth. Now you, you should have two pieces of the terry cloth. You're just going to need one for right now. Okay, and we're going to lay it out as flat as you can get it. And then you're going to grab your piece like this and lay it right smack dab on top of it. Okay, and then what we're going to do is we're going to get our tie and you can decide wherever you want to put the tie. You can put it in the corner, you can put it at the top, um, wherever you would like it. And I'm going to grab some clips because I did not grab any. Mm, I don't know. That'd be cute in the corner, a little bit in. Hmm. All right, I think right about there would be good. So clip that down. The next thing you're going to do is grab your second um, piece of terry cloth, and you're going to put that right on there. We're just going to make a big sandwich. Now this is going to be thick, thick to go through your sewing machine. So you're going to need to go slow when you're going over all these layers on the sides. And that's why these clips will help out a lot. I would not want to be putting pins in this thing because they would not stay like they're supposed to be. So I'm just going to clip all the way around. And then essentially what you're going to do when you stop bumping in the camera so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start stitching here. Make sure that you back stitch right here. So all the way around, come back to here, back stitch and stop right here. This is going to be where you're going to turn it inside out so it'll look like it's supposed to. So just make sure that you leave enough space that you can turn it inside out. real quick. The first one is you're going to cut the corners off so that this turns better and looks nice. You're going to cut that off and that off when I can get all the layers in there. All that stuff goes flying. Now if you want, I don't know where my big scissors went, but you can cut off some of this excess down here. Um, and then you can also kind of just do a little clip. Don't uh, don't cut so far that you cut your thread because that's going to undo everything. You can just do a little clip just so that it helps when you turn it, it'll help it lay straight. So I'm going to do that and then I'm going to turn it inside out. I think now's a bad time to mention that you're going to have terry cloth basically all over your desk when you get done. It's all over the place and it's just everywhere, so I'm going to have to clean up 
when I get done, but it's 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 all good. So now I have got it all turned inside out. Um, everything's laying flat. What I'm going to do, you could do a, um, a ladder stitch across here and just close this up and call it good. But I like the way that um, top stitching makes everything look. So I'm going to top stitch all the way around um, just to make it look a little bit nicer. So. And there you go. You've got a nice little scrubby pad for when you're in the shower. Scrubby, scrubby, scrubby. You're getting on the inside. The soap will come through to this side. And you'll just scrubby, scrubby, scrubby. And you have a nice little hanger that you can hang it up with. These are actually ended up being pretty perfect. I made a set for my son. Um, he's autistic. And it's really, shower time is just hard in general when you have little ones. But when they have issues with water in their face and hair and eyes and stuff. That's a lot of kids, but particularly with him, we've had a hard time. Um, so what I did was I took this part and I put the soap on it so he could wash himself all over. And then when he was done washing, he took this part, the um, fabric part, and he kind of put it over his eyes. Because the, the soap, we didn't drench it in soap. We just put a little, enough for him to wash. So being able to do this with his hands, when he would go to rinse himself, it would keep the uh, water out of his eyes. So um, that's another use. If you've got somebody that has a hard time with bath time, this would be a really great idea. Make sure that you put that foam in there so that there's a little extra layer um, in between. and It'll make it a little more sturdy. Um, so I hope you guys like this video. If you do, you can give it a thumbs up. Or if you'd like to subscribe and stick around and see some of the other really cool stuff I'll be doing for Christmas, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Or if you have any comments, you can leave them down below and I'll get right back to you. Thank you for joining us again on FaithWorks Design. Thanks for joining us again here on FaithWorks Design. Shh. Get it, Steve.